Have you ever wondered where the television signal you are watching is coming from? Welcome to True North. Good evening and welcome to Maine Watch. Welcome to From the Vault, a celebration of 60 years of Maine public television. Well, we have something a bit different for you on this episode. It is a play from 1971, Alice in Wonderland. Now, in the summer of that year, an acting troupe, a group of students from the famed Stella Adler Theater School in New York City, came to casting for a two-week residency. They stayed on board the Maine Maritime Academy training ship, State of Maine. They performed four plays at Barron Casting Hall, and they also came to the Maine Public Studios, then in Orono, to perform Alice in Wonderland in front of the cameras, as well as a group of about 70 local school children. Now, the kids, as you'll see in the show, occasionally get a bit restless, and at one point, a uh, lemonade and donut break had to be taken to refocus their energies, but all reports are everything went fine. Now, the cast, you'll see many of them still in the business going strong. In fact, recently I spoke with Joanna Rote, who you will see as Cheshire Cat and Mark Turtle. She filled me in on quite a few of the folks. For example, Karen Smith, who plays Alice. She is performing storytelling on the West Coast. And Ron Burris, who plays Cook, the Mad Hatter, and Humpty Dumpty, teaches acting in Los Angeles and in New York City. Joanna herself still very busy teaching acting, writer, and is Professor Emeritus of Theater at Villanova University. If you want to find out more about what she's up to, check out her website. Now, speaking of websites, if you go to youtube.com slash public, you can watch other episodes of From the Vault, including the full uncut versions of shows that sometimes have to be cut down for time to fit into our time slot. Well, let's go down the rabbit hole to 1971's Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> That's a very bad fault, and you haven't been punished as yet. But I'm saving up all your punishments for Wednesday week. What if they saved up all my punishments? What would they do at the end of the year? Why, I should be sent to prison, I suppose. Kitty, can you play chess? Now, don't smile, my dear. I'm asking you seriously. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to play chess and become a real queen with a crown of your own? I just imagine it, Kitty. Just imagine it to be a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful queen with a golden crown. Perhaps, Kitty, if you're very good and imagine very strong, why, we can be off to Wonderland. And maybe you too can become a queen. Shall we try it, Kitty? I'll show you how it's done. First, shut your eyes and dream of your wish as you turn and turn, round and round and round. Try it now, Kitty. Shut your eyes and say, 
I wish I were in Wonderland. I wish I were a queen. I wish I were in Wonderland. I wish I were a queen. I wish I were in Wonderland. I wish I were a queen. I wish I were in Wonderland. I wish I were a queen. I wish I were in Wonderland. I wish I were a queen. I wish I were in Wonderland. I wish I were a queen. I wish I were in Wonderland. I wish I were a queen. I wish I were in Wonderland. I wish I were a queen. I wish I were in Wonderland. I wish I were a queen. I would. <gasps> oh, oh dear. Where's Kitty gone? What's happened? <laughs> oh, look, six o'clock, six o'clock. I shall be late for the tea party. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the March Hare. I am in Wonderland, in Wonderland. My wish did come true. But how am I to become a queen? I'm afraid I've managed to get to Wonderland, but I don't know what to do next. I'm just a little bit lonely and quite a bit lost. The hare seems to have gone into that garden. I think I'll just follow him. Hi. The Red Queen. Oh, where do you come from and where are you going? Look up, speak nicely, and don't twiddle your thumbs. I, you see, I lost my way. I don't know what you mean by your way. All the ways about here belong to me. But why do you come out here at all? Because you are you're thinking what to say. It saves time. I'll try that when I go home, the next time I'm a little late for dinner. It's time for you to answer me now. Open your mouth a little wider when you speak, and always say, Your Majesty. I only wanted to go into the garden, Your Majesty. That's right. Though when you say garden, I could show you gardens compared with what you would call that. A wilderness. Oh, and then I thought I'd try to see what lay at the top of that hill. Though when you say hill, I could show you hills compared with what you would call that a valley. Oh, I shouldn't. A hill can't be a valley, you know. That would be nonsense. You may call it nonsense if you like, but I've heard nonsense compared with which that would be as sensible as a dictionary. This conversation is becoming curiouser and curiouser. Your Majesty, I only wanted to see what lay at the top of that hill. Over there. Well, why don't you look out there then and see the whole country? Oh. Why, it's laid out just like a large chessboard. It's a great huge game of chess that's being played all over the world. If this is the world at all, you know. Oh, what fun it is, how I wish that I might be a part of it. I wouldn't mind being a pawn if only I might join. Though, of course, I should like to be a queen best. Well, that's easily managed. You may be the white queen's pawn if you like. Now, you're in the first square now, and when you get to the eighth square, you'll be a queen. Oh, here comes the wind. Run, run! Oh, faster, faster! Oh, are we nearly there? Nearly there? Well, we passed it 10 minutes ago. Oh. Faster, faster. Oh, there. You may rest now. Why, well, I believe we've been in the same spot all the time. Everything's just as it was. Well, of course it is. What did you expect? Well, in our country, you generally get somewhere else if you ran very fast for a long time, as we've been doing. Slow sort of country. Now, here you see, it takes all the running you can do to stay in one place. If you want to get someplace else, you must run at least twice as fast as that. I'd rather not try, please. I'm content to stay right here. Only oh, I'm so hot and thirsty. Oh, I know what you'd like. Have a biscuit. And now, while you're refreshing yourself, I'll give you instructions on how to get to the eighth square and become a queen. <laughs> Have another biscuit? No, sir. One's quite enough. Thirst quenched, I hope. Yes! And now, 
I shall write the instructions down for you. A pawn, as you know, begins in the second square, and you are there now. And in the third square, you meet the Duchess and her cat. <clears throat> and a few yards later, you begin the fourth square, and you'll have a tea party. And then oh. there's the fifth square, and that belongs to the mock turtle. And in the sixth square, it's the white queen square. <sighs> but you make no remark. Oh, I didn't know I had to make one just then. Well, you should have said. It's extremely kind of you to tell me all this. However, we're supposed to said, now in the next square, you'll get there in leaps and bounds. Belongs to Humpty Dumpty. Oh! And in the eighth square was to be queens together. And this all feasting and fun. And now, here's the list of the journey. Don't forget it. Speak in French when you can't think of the English for the thing. Turn out your toes when you walk. And remember who you are. Goodbye! instructions and I should be in the third square by now. Now let me see. Why this door? It says most clearly on the door. Duchess! But I don't see a bell anywhere. Perhaps I'd better knock. There's no sense in knocking. And that for two reasons. First, you're on the same side of the door I am. And secondly, there's so much noise going on inside that nobody could possibly hear you. Please, then, how am I to get in? Any way you like. There's no use talking to him. He's perfectly idiotic. I think I'll just walk right in. Duchess child. <coughs> There's too much pepper in the soup. What are you staring at, child? Could you tell me, please, why your cat grins like that? It's a Cheshire cat, that's why. I didn't know that Cheshire cats always grin. In fact, I didn't know that cats could grin. They all can, and most of them do. I don't know of any that do. Well, you don't know much, and that's a fact. Pig. Meow! Mind what you're doing. Why, there goes his precious nose. If everyone minded their own business, the world would go round. A great dear faster. You'd want it done. Meow! Which would not be an advantage. Just think what work it would make with the day and the night. You see, the Earth takes 24 hours to turn around on its axis. Speaking of axes, jump on ahead! 24 hours, I think. Oh. Or is it 12? Don't bother me with figures. I never could abide them. <laughs> Speak roughly to your little boy. To your little, to your little boy. And beat him when he sneezes. When he sneezes, when he sneezes. He only does it to annoy. He knows, he knows, he knows it, Jesus. Oh, well, 
Oh, child, you dear old thing. You can't think how glad I am to see you. You're thinking of something. That's why you forget to speak. I enjoyed your song very much. <laughs> Don't mention it. And the more of that is, tis love, tis love, that makes the world go round. Yeah. Thank you for the lesson. Oh, don't mention it. And the world of that is, be what you would seem to be. <laughs> or if you'd like it put more simply, never imagine yourself to be otherwise than what might appear to others, than what you were or might have been was not otherwise than what have appeared to be otherwise. <laughs> I think I might understand that better if I had it written down. But I can't quite follow it as you say it. Oh, that's nothing compared to what I could say if I chose. Oh, pray don't trouble to say it any longer than that. Oh, don't bother me with trouble. I make you a present of everything I've said as of yet, child. Well, goodbye. Cook and I are off to play croquet with the queen. Four, 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 four. There you go. That poor baby. They probably will kill it in a day or two. However, I must get on to the next square. Let me see what the Red Queen wrote. Hmm. I can't seem to make much sense of this list. It seems to be written backwards. Yeah. Cheshire Puss, could you tell me, please, which way to go from here? That depends a great deal on where you want to get to. Well, I don't much care where I go. Then it doesn't really matter which way you do go. Well, as long as I get somewhere. Oh, you're sure to do that if you only walk long enough. Well, what sort of people live about here? In one direction lives a hatcher. In the other, a march hare. Visit either you like. They're both mad. But I don't want to go among mad people. Oh, you can't help that. We're all mad here. I'm mad. How do you know? Well, to begin with, a dog's not mad, correct? That's true. Well, the dog growls when it's angry and wags its tail when it's pleased. Uh -huh. I growl when I'm pleased uh -huh. and wag my tail when I'm angry. Therefore, I'm mad. Well, I don't mind you. And besides, I know what the hair looks like. I think I'll visit him. Goodbye, Cheshire Puss. Goodbye. told me you had been to her and mentioned me to him. She gave me a good character, but said I could not swim. I gave them one you gave them two, you gave them three or more. They all returned for him to you. Though they were mine before. No room! Why, there's plenty of room. Have some wine. But I don't see any wine. That's because there's a little. <laughs> It wasn't very civil of you to offer it. Wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being invited. Well, I didn't know it was your table. It's laid for a great many more than three. <laughs> your hair needs cutting. You should learn not to make personal remarks. It's very rude. Oh. Why is the raven like a writing desk? A riddle? I think I can guess that. You mean you think you could find out the answer to it? Exactly so. Then why don't you say what you mean? I do. At least I mean what I say, and that's the same thing, you know. Oh, not the same thing a bit. Why, you might just as well say, I eat what I see is the same thing as I see what I eat. You might just as well say, I like what I get 
is the same thing as I get what I like. You might just as well say that I breathe when I sleep is the same thing as I sleep when I breathe. It's the same thing with you. Have you guessed the riddle yet? No. I give up. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea. <laughs> I think you might do something better with the time than wasting it and asking riddles that have no answers. If you knew time as well as I do, you wouldn't talk about wasting it. It's a him. I don't know what you mean. Of course not. I dare say you never even spoke to time. Well, perhaps not, but I know I have to beat time when I learn music. Aha! Uh -huh. That accounts for it. Now, he won't stand for beating. Now, if you only kept on good terms with time, he'd do almost anything you liked with the clocks. For instance, supposing it were nine o'clock in the morning, just in time to begin your lesson, you'd only have to whisper a hint of time, and round goes the clocks in a twinkling at past one. Time for dinner. Time for dinner. I only wish it was. <laughs> Why, that would be grand, certainly. But then I shouldn't be hungry for it. Not at first, perhaps. But you could keep it to half past one as long as you liked. Is that how you manage? Not I. We quarreled last March, just before he went mad, you know. It was at the great concert given by the Duchess, and I had to sing, Twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder what you're at. You know the song, perhaps. I've heard something like it. It goes on, you know, in this way. Up above the world you fly, like a tea tray in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little... Twinkle, 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 twinkle. I hardly finished the first verse. I'd hardly finished the first verse. I'd hardly finished the first verse. Thank you. When the Duchess bowed out, he's murdering the time off with his head. How dreadfully savage. And ever since then, I haven't been able to do a thing with him. It's always six o'clock now. Is that why there are so many tea things laid out here? Yes, that's it. It's always tea time, and we've no time to wash the things between whiles. So you just keep moving around, I suppose. Exactly so as the things get used up. Time for tea, tea for time, 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 time for tea, tea for time. Time for tea, tea for time. <laughs> and when you get to the beginning again? Suppose we change the subject. I hope the young lady tells us a story. Oh. I'm afraid I don't know one. Then the door mouse shall. Wake up, door mouse. I wasn't asleep. I heard every word your fellows were saying. Tell us a story. Oh, yes, please do. And be quick about it, or you'll be asleep before it's done. <gasps> Once upon a time, there were three little sisters, and their names were Elsie, Lacey, mm. and Tilly. And they lived at the bottom of a well. <laughs> <laughs> what did they live on? They lived on treacle. <laughs> <laughs> but they couldn't have done that, you know. Why, they'd have been ill. Of course they were. Very ill. <laughs> <laughs> but why did they live at the bottom of a well? Have some more tea. Well, I've had nothing yet, so I can't take more. You mean you can't take less? It's very easy to take more than nothing. Nobody asked your opinion. Who's making personal remarks mm. now? Why did they live at the bottom of a well? It was a treacle well. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no such... If you can't be civil, you better finish the story yourself. <laughs> no, please go on. I won't interrupt again. I dare say there may be one. One yeah. indeed. And so, these three little sisters, they were learning to draw. What did they draw? Treacle. <laughs> but I don't understand. Where did they draw the treacle from? You can draw water out of a water well. I should hope you could draw treacle out of a treacle well, huh? Stupid. Mm. But they were in the well. Of course they were. Well in. <laughs> <laughs> and so these three little sisters, they were learning to draw. And they drew all manners of things. Everything that begins with an M. Why with an M? Why not? Everything that begins with the M, such like moon and memory, mouse traps, and muchness. You know, you say there's such a thing as much of muchness. Did you ever see a drawing of a muchness? Well, really, now you ask me, 
I don't think... Then you shouldn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, I'll never come here again. This is the stupidest tea party I was ever at in all my life. <laughs> and so these three little sisters, they were learning to twinkle, 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 twinkle. I should be in the next square by now. I beg your pardon. It's not polite to beg. I mean, could you tell me who you are? I am the Griffin. Why, I always thought Griffins were fabulous monsters. And who, or rather, what are you? My name is Alice, and I think I'm a child. You know, I always thought the children were fabulous monsters. I've never seen one alive before. Well, we're not monsters at all. Well, now that we've seen each other, if you'll believe in me, I'll believe in you. Is that a bargain? Yes, if you'd like. Oh, 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 oh. But who is that? That is the mock turtle. I don't even know what a mock turtle is. Why, well, it's the thing that mock turtle soup is made from. Why is she so sad? Oh, she hasn't got no sorrow. It's all her fancy. Hello, mock turtle. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. This here lady wants for to know your history, she do. Well, I'll tell it to her. Sit down, both of you. And don't you speak a word till I've finished. Once I was a real turtle. When we were little, we went to school in the sea. The master was an old turtle. We used to call him Tortoise. Why did you call him Tortoise if he wasn't one? We called him Tortoise because he taught us. <laughs> really, you are very tall. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Asking such a simple question. Drive on, old girl. Well, we had the best of educations. In fact, we went to school in the sea every day. I've been to a day school, too. You needn't be as proud as all that. With extras. A day school with extras. Yes, we learned French and music. And washing. Certainly not. Oh, the yours wasn't a really good school. Now, at ours, we had, at the end of the bill, French, music, and washing extra! Ooh. You couldn't have wanted much living at the bottom of the sea. Oh, I couldn't afford to learn it. I only took the regular course. What was that? Oh, reeling and writhing to begin with. Then, the different branches of arithmetic, ambition, Distraction, uglification, and derision. I never heard of uglification. What was that like? You never heard of uglifying? Well, you know what to beautify is, I suppose. Oh, yes, that means to make anything prettier. Well, if you don't know what to uglify is, you're our simpleton. Oh. What else had you to learn, Master? Oh, there was mystery. Mystery, ancient and modern. And seography. Then, Drawling. The drawling master was an old conjure eel that used to come in once a week. He taught drawling, stretching, and fainting in coils. Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you. What was that like? Oh, can't show you myself. Too stiff. And the griffin, he never learned it. Too. Hadn't time. I went to the old classical master. He was an old crab, he was. <laughs> I never went to him. He taught the laughing and grief. Oh, so he did, so he did. And how many hours a day did you do lessons? Ooh, ten hours the first day, nine the next, eight the next, and so on and so on and so on and so on. What a curious plan. Well, that's the reason they're called lessons, oh. because they lessen from day to day. Then the eleventh was called a holiday. Of course it was. Oh. <laughs> what did you do on the twelfth? 
That's Ooh. enough about lessons. Ooh. Tell her about the games now. <gasps> Thank you. Same as if she had a bone in her throat. You may not have lived much under the sea. I haven't. Ooh. Perhaps you were never introduced to a lobster? I once tasted. No, never. Well, then you can have no idea what the delightful thing a lobster quadrille is. No, indeed. What sort of a dance is it? Oh, would you like to see a little of it? Oh, very much indeed. Oh, come, let's try the first figure. We can do it without the lobsters, you know. Which shall sing? Oh, you sing. I've forgotten the words. Will you walk a little faster, said a whiting to a snail. There's a porpoise close behind us, and he's treading on my tail. See how eagerly the lobsters and the turtles all advance. They are waiting on the seashore. Will you come and join the dance? Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, will you join the dance? Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, will you join the dance? You can really have no notion how delightful it will be when they take us up and throw us with the lobsters out to sea. But the snail replied too far, too far, gave a look askance, said he thanked the whiting kindly, but he would not join the dance, would not, could not, would not, could not, would not join the dance, would not, could not, would not, could not, would not join the dance. What matters it how far we go, his scaly friend replied. There is another shore, you know, upon the other side. The further off from England, the nearer is to France. Then turn not pale, beloved snail, but come and join the dance. Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, will you join the dance? Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, will you join the I suppose. I never thought about it. Why? Because they do the boots and shoes. Oh, do the boots and shoes? Why? What are your shoes done with them? And what makes them so shiny? Why, they're done with blacking, I believe. Why, shoes under the sea are done with whiting. Now you know. Oh, what are they made of? Soles and eels, of course. Any shrimp could have told you that. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd have been the whiting, I'd have said to the porkets, keep back, please. We don't want you with us. Well, oh, no. No wise fish would go anywhere without a porpoise. Wouldn't it really? Why, no. Well, if a fish came up to me and said that he was going on a journey, well, I should say, with what porpoise? <laughs> Don't you mean purpose? I mean what I say. Would you like to try another figure of the lobster quadrille? Or would you like the mock turtle to sing you a song? Oh, yes, a song, please. If the mock turtle will be so kind. Oh. No account for tastes. Sing a turtle soup, old girl. Beautiful soup, so rich and green, waiting in the hot terrain. Dainties would not stoop. Soup of evening, beautiful soup. Soup of evening, beautiful soup. Beautiful soup.
thank you, Mount Turtle. Oh, and thank you, too, Griffin. And now I really must be going. I'm going to be a queen when I get to the 8th Square, you know. Goodbye! <laughs> I know. Yes, but then you see, I had done the things I was punished for, and that's what makes all the difference. But if you hadn't done them, you would have been better still. Better and better and better. Oh, There's a mistake oh, somewhere. Oh, oh, my finger's bleeding. Oh, have you pricked oh, your finger? Oh, no, I haven't pricked it yet, but I shall soon. Oh, when do you expect oh, to do oh, it? When I fasten my shawl again. The brooch will come undone directly. Oh, 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 let it go. Now oh, take care. You're holding your shawl all crooked. Oh, no. There. You see? That accounts for the bleeding. Now, you understand the way things happen here. But why don't you scream now? But I've done all the screaming already. What would be the good of doing it all over again? I'm glad it's getting light. 
I thought it was the night coming on. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could manage to be glad. Only I can never remember the rule. You must be very happy living in this wood and being glad whenever you like. Only it's so very lonely. Oh, oh don't go on like that. Oh. oh, consider what a big girl you are. Oh. oh, consider what a long way you've come today. Oh. Consider what o'clock it is. Oh, consider anything, only don't cry. Can you keep from crying by considering things? Yes. That's the way it's done, you know. Nobody can do two things at once. Now, let's consider your age to begin with. How old are you? I'm seven. And a half. Exactly. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you needn't say exactly. I can believe it without that. Oh. Now, I'll give you something to believe. I'm just 101, five months, and a day. I can't believe that. Oh, yes, you can. Try again. Draw a long breath and shut your eyes. It's no use. One can't believe impossible things. Well, I dare say you haven't had much practice. Now, when I was your age, I used to do it for a half an hour a day. Why, sometimes I used to believe as many as six impossible things often before breakfast. Oh, 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 oh. There goes my shawl again. Now. You shall see me pin it on, all by myself. Well, I hope your finger is better now. Much better. Much better. Well, I must be off. I'll see you two squares from now. Two squares. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. to the next square. Let me see what the Red Queen wrote. To get into the seventh square, you turn and turn and stare and stare. 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 And turn and turn and stare and stare. Turn and turn and stare and stare. And turn and turn and stare and stare. And turn and turn and stare and stare. And turn and turn. And stare, and stare, and turn, and turn, and stare, and... <gasps> Why is Humpty Dumpty himself? I am exactly like an egg he looks. It's very provoking to be called an egg. Very. Well, I said you looked like an egg, sir. And some eggs are very pretty, you know. <laughs> some people have no more sense than a baby. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, and all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back up in his place again. That last line is much too long for poetry. Don't stand there mumbling. State your name and business. My name is Alice. Stupid enough name. What does it mean? Must a name mean something? Why, of course it must. 
Now, my name means the shape I am, and a good, handsome shape it is, too. With a name like yours, you could be any old shape at all. Could you tell me, please, why you sit here all alone? Because there's nobody with me, of course. What easy riddles you ask. Ask me another. Didn't think I knew the answer to that one, huh? Don't you think you'd be safer on the ground? This wall is very narrow. Of course I don't think so. If I ever did fall off, there's no chance of it. But if I did, the king has promised me with his own mouth to... I know! To send all of his horses and all of his men! You've been listening at doors and down chimneys you couldn't have known. Why, I've done nothing of the sort. It's in a book. In a book? In a book. In a book? Ah, well. They might write such things in a book. What a beautiful belt you have. Or is it a cravat? Oh, dear. I can't tell where the neck leaves off and the waist begins. It's a most provoking thing. A most provoking thing indeed when a person can't tell a belt from a cravat. I know. It's very ignorant of me. <laughs> it's a cravat, my child. It was given to me for an unbirthday present. I beg your pardon. I'm not offended. I mean, what's an unbirthday present? A present given when it's not your birthday, naturally. Oh, I like birthday presents better. Wrong. How many days in the year are there? Answer me that. Why, 365. Yes, now, how many birthdays have you? One, of course. So, there's one day in which to get birthday presents and 360, 60, uh, 64. Just so. 364 days for unbirthday presents. There's glory for you. I don't know what you mean by glory. Of course you don't. Not till I tell you what it means. It means there's a nice knockdown argument for you. But that isn't what glory means. When I use a word, it means what I want it to mean. Neither more nor less. The question is whether you can make a word mean so many different things. The question is, which is to be the master, the word or us? Now, some of these words have beautiful tempers, you know. Verbs, for instance. Adjectives you can do almost anything you like with. But verbs, impenetrability, that's what I say. Could you tell me, please, what that means? Now you're talking reasonably. It means that we've had enough of this subject, and it would be just as well if you'd mention what you mean to do next, as I suppose you don't intend to stay here all your life. That's an awful lot for one word to mean. When I make a word do a lot of work. Ah, child, you should hear me at poetry. Oh, I should like that. Would you? Oh. Now, this piece I'm going to recite was written entirely for your amusement. Thank you. <clears throat> I sent a message to the fish. I told them, this is what I wish. The little fishy's answer was, we cannot do it, sir, because. I'm afraid I don't quite understand. It gets easier further off. <laughs> then someone came to me and said, the little fishies are in bed. I took a corkscrew from the shelf, and I went to wake them up myself. And when I found the door was locked, I pulled, I pushed, I kicked, I knocked. And when I found the door was shut, I tried to turn the handle, but is that all? That is all. Goodbye. Well, of all the unsatisfactory people I ever met. But no matter. Now for the eighth square. And I'm going to be a queen. on my head? A crown! Well, this is grand. I never expected I should be a queen so soon. Would you tell me, please? Think when you're spoken to. 
Well, if everyone obeyed that rule and you only spoke when you were spoken to, and the other person always waited for you to begin, no one would ever Ridiculous, say anything. Ridiculous, child. Why don't you see? You can't become a queen until you pass the proper examination. And the sooner we begin it, the better. I only said if. She says, she only said if. Oh, she said a great deal more than that. Oh, ever so much more than that. So you did, you know. Always speak the truth, think before you speak, and write it down afterwards. Well, I'm sure I didn't mean That's to. That's just what I complain of. You should admit. Now, what do you suppose is the use of a child without any meaning? Even a joke should have some meaning. And a joke's more important than a joke, I hope. <laughs> you couldn't deny that, even if you tried with both hands. I don't deny things with my hands. Nobody said you did. I said you couldn't if you tried. Oh, she's in that state of mind when she wants to deny something. Only she doesn't know what to deny. You have a nasty, vicious temper. I invite you to Alice's party this afternoon. And I invite you. Well, I didn't know I was to have a party at all. But if I am to have one, I think I should invite the guests. We gave you the opportunity of doing it, but I dare say you've not taught many lessons in manners yet. Manners are not taught in lessons. Lessons teach you to do sums and things of that sort. Can you do addition? What's one and 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 one? I don't know. I lost count. She can't do addition. Can you do subtraction? Take a bone from a dog, and what remains? Well, the bone wouldn't remain if I took it. And the dog wouldn't remain. He would bite me so I shouldn't remain. Then you think nothing would remain? Yes! Wrong! The dog's temper would remain. Well, I don't see Oh, how... don't foresee, child. The dog would lose its temper, wouldn't it? Perhaps it would. Then if the dog went away, its temper would remain. Well, they might go different ways. What dreadful nonsense we are talking. She can't, can't do sums, sums a bit. bit. Can you do sums? Well, I can do addition, if you give me time. But I can't do subtraction under any circumstances. Of course, you know your ABC. Oh, yes, to be sure I do. So do I. We'll say it over often together, dear. And I'll tell you a secret. I can read words of one letter isn't that grand? However, don't be discouraged. You'll come to it in time. Of course, uh, you can answer useful questions. How is bread made? Oh, I know that. First, you take some flour. Where do you pick the flour? In the garden or in the hedges? Why, it's not picked at all. It's ground. Well, how many acres of ground? Oh, come, child. You mustn't leave out so many things. No, fed or head, she'll be feverish after so much thinking. There. She's better now. Of course you know languages. What's the French for fiddle-dee-dee? Fiddle-dee-dee's not English. Well, I said it was. Well, if you tell me what language fiddle-dee is, I'll give you the French for it. Queens never make bargains. I wish queens never ask questions. Oh, don't let us quarrel. What is the cause of lightning? The cause of lightning is the thunder. No, I meant that the other way around. It's too late to correct it. Once you've said a thing, that fixes it, and you must take the consequences. Which reminds me, we had such a thunderstorm last yeah. Tuesday. Oh, I mean the last set of Tuesdays, you know. Well, in our country, we only have one day at a time. A poor thin way of doing things. Now, here you see. We mostly take days and nights, two or three at a time. And sometimes in the winter, we take as many as five nights together for warmth, you know. Are five nights warmer than one night then? Five times as warm, of course. Humpty Dumpty saw it too. He came to the door with a corkscrew in his hand. No, what did he want? Well, he said he would come in because he was looking for a hippopotamus. Now, as it happens, there didn't happen to be such a thing in the house that day. Is there generally? Well, only on Thursday. I know what he came for. He wanted to punish the fish because... Oh, it was such a thunderstorm, you can't think. She never could, you know. Oh, and part of the roof came off. Oh, and ever so much thunder got in and went rolling around the rooms in great thumbs, knocking over tables and chairs and things until I was so frightened I couldn't even remember my own name. I should oh. never try to remember my name in the midst of an accident. Where would be the use of it? Oh, your majesty must excuse 
her. She never was really well brought up, you know. But it's amazing how contemporary she is. I'll pat her on the head and see how pleased she'll be. A little kindness in putting her hair in papers would do wonders for her. I am so sleepy. Oh, she's tired, poor thing. Smooth her hair and lend her a nightcap and sing her a soothing lullaby. I'm afraid I don't have a nightcap with me. And I don't know any soothing lullabies. Then I must do it myself. Hush my lady and Alice is laugh till the feast over we time for a nap. When the feast over we'll go to the ball. Red Queen and White Queen to Dallas and all. <clears throat> and now you know the words. Sing it through to me. I'm getting sleepy too. Oh, what am I to do? Do wake up, you heavy things. I don't think it ever happened before that anybody had to take care of two queens asleep at once. Oh, it couldn't, you know, because there was always only one queen at a time.
like seeing a TV show? Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here.